Today's lesson is called synthetic substitution. And just like it sounds, uh, we're going to have to do some type of substitution. But we're going to use the synthetic division process to figure out or to evaluate f of, f of negative 2. So this is f of negative 2. This is a polynomial. And what we're going to input is negative 2. And we want to figure out what will be the results of f of negative 2. So you start off by writing your negative 2 in the corner. And then you list the coefficients. You have 3. You have 2. You have negative 5. You have 1. And then you have negative 2. You have to make sure that the powers are in descending order. In this case, they are. So what you do first is you bring down the 3, you multiply negative 2 times 3, which gives you negative 6, and you're always adding here. Even though this is a negative sign, you're going to add 2 plus negative 6 gives you negative 4. And then this number, which is negative 2, times this number, in this case it's negative 4, you're going to multiply. Negative 2 times negative 4 gives you 8, and then negative 5 plus 8 give you 3. Negative 2 times 3 gives you negative 6. And then 1 minus 6 gives you negative 5. And then negative 2 times negative 5 give you 10. And negative 2 plus 10 give you 8. And we notice that this will be the remainder. So we know that f of negative 2 equals 8. Now if you want to check it, the direct method is simply substituting. So we have 3, you got to make sure you have parentheses, negative 2 to the 4th, plus 2 times negative 2 to the 3rd, minus 5 times negative 2 squared plus negative 2 minus 2 and you notice that you're going to come out with 8. Once again in example 2 we're trying to evaluate f of 3. In other words we want to evaluate uh, what is f of 3 when x equals 3. So you're going to have 3 on the side and then you're going to list the coefficients. Now you, you see the polynomial, the highest power is 3. And you notice that the next one is 1. Uh, this is descending. We're missing 2. So we have to account for that. So we have 5. And since we're missing, we're missing that 2 here, we're going to have to write 0. And then you have 2. Then you have negative 1. You bring down the 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 0 plus 15 is 15. 3 times 15 is 45. Uh, 2 plus 45 gives you 47. And then 3 times 47 gives you 141. So when you add these two, you get 140. So we have f of 3. That means when 3 is, in, is placed into the polynomial, you are going to get 140. Now you can check by just doing the direct method, which is f of 3 equals 5 times 3 raised to the third power plus 2 times 3 minus 1. I'll give you a minute to do that. Hopefully you had a chance to check the calculator. So it does come out to 140.